It's windy today, but it's time to wake up my old bone tether that lie here. Today we will talk about it and maybe will be some interesting fire up. camera I rebuilt a bit the engine of my Montesa Cota evasion so here you can see something I changed the reed valve um, here, are, here is the original this this is the original reed valve with uh, um, six uh, uh, petal and uh, I mounted uh, a reed valve uh, similar to this one you see here um, and that come from the DT125 uh, Yamaha uh, for uh, give uh, to the engine some more RPM uh, and some um, some torque at uh, high RPM uh, I changed the piston actually I run with the Fantic motor piston because Montesa is very hard to find the cylinder um, have the Nicasil uh, still good very good Nicasil I, I can say and um, I just uh, owning a bit uh, and, and change the, the piston with uh, another similar because also some something happens to my Montesa in last year. I chose Pistoni Gold, it's economic but uh, made in Italy and it's quite good from uh, aftermarket. Uh, like I said, uh, Fantic Motor, not Montesa, because Montesa is very hard to find, um, like Spire or uh, everything. Uh, so I chose some uh, uh, 73.95 and uh, with uh, some more uh, strict uh, clearance I uh, choice and uh, here there is some problem yes because uh, my con rod uh, <laughs> last time uh, decided uh, to <laughs> to blow up all the small uh, uh, part of the bearing come to the big uh, piston and uh, go here and destroy everything uh, I can say so you here you can see more about the piston the piston is uh, like I said uh, 73 it's uh, a big true stock engine this one and uh, with uh, very heavy parts uh, rotating and uh, it uh, revs around uh, 80 80,000 maximum I can say with uh, quite uh, good re reliability but uh, you must uh, be um, careful at uh, so high RPM because of the uh, masses and here is the problem it was destroyed but pieces of uh, um, the um, high hand of the, um, the cone rod and so it means that uh, come from uh, from here and destroy everything. Now I take the the cone rod 
the connecting rod here uh, is uh, from the same model, the Fantic uh, 240 real and uh, this is the original Montesa Montesa connecting rod here was the problem and here also a bit of um, play uh, was founded for me and uh, here another big problem that one that causes uh, all the disaster uh, you can see uh, here some 20 uh, here some 19 one millimeter um, <laughs> was uh, was actually less than one millimeter here in the circumference and yes yeah, was a disaster so after all this problem I tried to revive revolt um, the, the part that I found with needed some uh, some work so we already talked about this and after I change the the reed cage and the reed uh, petal, uh, this is the original Montesa with the six uh, six uh, petal. Um, I make some spacer, um, but uh, never try. Uh, after uh, there was some problem with gear with the um, chain here you can see here you can see it's uh, very very much so too much play with the chain and in the same time I change uh, the gear ratio I give you some photos of uh, um, the main work uh, with the top end uh, and um, in general the the bearing uh, on, on the crankcase and uh, all the work about uh, the engine. How you can see from photos, I, um, I completely uh, disassemble all the engine. I change uh, the main bearing uh, in the crankshaft. Uh, the crankshaft, of course, is uh, it was uh, taken apart uh, in two pieces and, um, and pressed down with the new uh, connecting rod and uh, checked the, the truing. Uh, it was um, about uh, some uh, 0.02 um, millimeter of uh, difference and for this large in engine it's uh, quite good. Uh, after uh, the cylinder was uh, honed because the Nikazil was uh, quite good and um, after uh, like I said I changed the reed valve and um, interesting is the work uh, with the head here you can see the head actually I clean it because uh, was uh, damaged from the pieces of uh, bearing and uh, after I, I adjust the compression ratio and uh, now I show some calculation here here I write uh, everything and uh, the modification, the play it's written in Italian of course uh, um, I write here about the oil um, 550 cc of uh, uh, 50 W40 oil after the read um, of thickness of 0 0.35 in um, carbon with the original uh, stopper from uh, the DT uh, Yamaha 100 uh, 2.5 uh, this is some um, carburetor tuning but uh, uh, still the original 92 main jet after um, 
here we arrived to the head uh, but uh, here we have uh, some uh, scratch of uh, the flywheel the flywheel uh, uh, located uh, here in the uh, primary gear uh, side because uh, like you can imagine in a trial bike um, at, at the time uh, old style uh, I can say uh, it was used to, to have uh, some very heavy flywheel and the crankshaft is uh, the crankshaft is very heavy um, and uh, also the, um, the flywheel on the ignition uh, uh, magneto ignition it's uh, uh, quite uh, heavy I think it's uh, three kilos only this um, the crankshaft very heavy and this uh, it was actually uh, 19 uh, 950 gram and I make some uh, um, let's check how much I I change it here about the head here oh okay the additional weight uh, was uh, uh, lightened to 60 uh, 50 gram from the um, almost uh, one kilo we go to this and uh, it's it's a big step uh, after we <laughs> We have the original uh, ignition, magneto ignition flywheel that was uh, 3.5 kilo, and uh, um, I take it uh, out uh, minus uh, 500 gram. So uh, now you can see the piston uh, clearance with the um, Nikasil uh, cylinder, uh, the gold piston from Fantic uh, 300 with the 18 uh, millimeter Gujon pin uh, it was uh, um, 0 0.050 and actually the piston is uh, like I said this piston is uh, 73.95 and uh, now we have the original Montesa bearing you can see maybe here uh, the main Montesa M. Okay, Fantic uh, connecting rod was uh, uh, 115. It means that this all the all the um, piston with the connecting rod was uh, less than a millimeter. It uh, influenced a bit the um, the port timing, but uh, what happens with the port timing? Uh, here maybe you can see a little bit of uh, paper uh, um, gasket and with paper gasket I got some uh, uh, two millimeter uh, up all the cylinder and um, I arrived to the squish that um, I had in mind with um, mounting the, this uh, Actually, this, this uh, annealed uh, copper uh, um, head gasket that uh, if you take a look to another uh, video I posted, uh, you can find on my channel about this. And uh, the result was, uh, uh, it was one millimeter and five. 